Hi guys, welcome to Gatematic. In this lecture, we will start speed control of induction motor. So let's get started. Now let us understand how the speed is controlled in induction motor. There are two way of controlling the speed of induction motor. First one is the slip control and second one is the NS control. In slip control, we divide this in three parts. First is the voltage control second is the rotor resistance control and third one is the rotor emf injection so these three type of speed control we will see in this lecture now in the previous lecture we have already gone through the torque speed characteristics and the formula of electromagnetic torque under running condition and the formula of maximum torque that is given as 3 upon omega s v1 square upon 2x2 dash and electromagnetic torque under running condition is given as 3 upon omega s s v1 square upon r2 dash and these two we found in approximate analysis okay this is not the actual formula this is done under approximate analysis cut it so in order to control the speed of induction motor what we assume we assume in all the speed control of induction motor that is electromagnetic torque or load torque is constant okay we have to assume this that load con torque is constant now let us start first that is the voltage control we know under a stable operation electromagnetic torque is equal to load torque and here we are assuming that load torque is constant so i can write electromagnetic torque that is equal to 3 upon omega s s v1 square upon r2 dash is constant okay by using this formula 3 is constant omega s is constant and r2 dash that is the rotor resistance is also constant so by using this formula we can conclude that the slip multiplied by v1 square is constant now in voltage control we cannot increase the voltage above the rated voltage generally the induction motor are run at rated voltage so we cannot go beyond that so what we will do we will decrease the voltage we know we cannot go the we cannot increase the voltage greater than rated voltage this is wrong because the winding of insulation is directly proportional to the voltage so if we we'll go beyond the rated voltage then the maybe the insulation will damage okay so in this type of control that is the voltage control we decrease the voltage means we uh, decrease the supply voltage so if i will decrease the supply voltage then def definitely the slip will increase in order to make s v1 square is equal to constant so from here i can write s1 by s2 is equal to v2 by v1 ka whole square okay now see let us say v1 is uh, the voltage at initial state that is equal to 440 volt supply voltage okay and after reducing the voltage it will be around let us say 400 volt and the running slip the slip uh, at which the induction motor is running that is equal to 0 0.04 so if you will calculate s2 then you will get uh, the value of s2 that is greater than s1 so what i am doing i am decreasing the voltage such that the multiplication of s into v1 square will remain constant now if you will decrease this voltage level then definitely the slip will increase to make this whole multiplication constant so definitely the slip we will get that will be greater than the initial slip so s2 we are getting greater than s1 also we know that nr is equal to ns into 1 minus s so if you will increase the slip then definitely the speed of rotor will decrease increase the slip then the speed of the rotor will decrease so by varying the voltage we can increase the slip and if the slip is increases then nr will decrease in this way we can control the speed of induction motor by voltage control okay now see the disadvantage of voltage control method what is the disadvantage of voltage control method we can decrease the speed by using voltage control by by reducing the voltage that is the supply voltage but there are some disadvantage also we can control the speed of induction motor we can decrease the speed of induction motor by voltage control but there is some disadvantage first disadvantage is what is the formula of i2 i2 the formula of i2 dash is e2 upon under root r2 dash upon s ka whole square plus 
x2 dash now under voltage control method what we are doing we are increasing the slip so if i will increase the slip then definitely this term will decrease and i2 dash will increase means there will be more heat loss now the second disadvantage is we know z is equal to under root of r2 dash upon s whole square plus x2 dash square right this is a square now what is the value of power factor cos phi the power factor is r2 dash upon s under root z okay so if you will increase the slip then definitely this numerator part will decrease also the impedance will also decrease but the the numerator part will dominate so overall the power factor will get reduced so there will be a poor power factor by using this control method third one is the we know that phi proportional to v by f so if you will reduce the voltage and frequency is constant so overall the flux is decreasing okay which is also undesirable we cannot decrease the flux we have to make the flux constant second one is rotor resistance control again same procedure we can apply that is we have to assume that load torque is constant and for a operating a stable operating condition load torque is equal to electromagnetic torque that is equal to 3 upon omega s into s v1 square upon r2 dash now this whole electromagnetic torque or load torque is constant okay now we are not decreasing the supply voltage we are making supply voltage constant omega s is already constant and 3 is also a constant value so from this equation i can say s by r2 dash must be constant where s is the slip means slip is directly proportional to r2 dash now if i will increase the rotor resistance then definitely the slip will increase with increase in rotor resistance the slip will increase and correspondingly nr is equal to ns into 1 minus s so if we'll increase the slip then nr will decrease same as the previous case only the difference is in this case we are making supply voltage constant and we are changing the rotor resistance so if you will change the rotor resistance then definitely the slip will change and if slip will change then the speed of rotor will change so how to deal with these kind of problems suppose a problem is asked from rotor resistance control then how you will solve just you have to make s upon r2 dash is equal to constant what they will say in the question they will say that we are increasing the rotor resistance to 0.5 or 1 ohm now tell me what are the new is okay so you can just put s by r2 dash initially slip we will you know just pay, uh, put s by r2 dash and find the value of new slip and if you found the new slip then you can easily find the nr that is equal to ns into 1 minus s okay so in this way we can control the speed of induction motor we can decrease the speed of rotor by rotor resistance control now see what are the dis disadvantage of this method that is the rotor resistance control here what i am doing i am increasing the rotor resistance okay so if you will increase the rotor resistance then definitely the copper loss the rotor copper loss will increase this is the first disadvantage also the efficiency will decrease